Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader Guide Pascal full build for Prologue and Act 1 or should I say this is a build for Operative Tech Magus Pascal that wants to become a bounty hunter or better to say a trapper to put it short the entire team benefits out of Pascal and his debuffs and that's his main purpose in a game skill checks as I like to call him know it all Pascal and debuffs in combat this build was played and tested on unfair and if it works on unfair it will work on all other difficulties as well let's go are you ready for more hammer for the KO trainer as I am the Emperor protects So, we are preparing Pascal to become a bounty hunter and during prologue and act 1 the very first thing the operative learns is to analyze enemies. You pop up analyze enemies and you apply stacks on them. The bigger the amount of stacks the more pain you'll deal. On a second level we're gonna learn tech use cause Pascal is there for the tech use skill check mostly. On the next level, Pascal receives Expose Weakness. Extremely great, especially when you analyze enemies and then you use all of those stacks and reduce enemies dodge, parry and armor. In other words, the entire team profits out of Expose Weakness and it is one of the best basic skills in the game. This is how you win fights, by debuffing enemies. On the next level, Pascal receives his ulti, Dismantling Attack, pretty much the upgraded version of uh, Expose Weakness. Yes, you can put Analyze into Expose Weakness into Dismantling Attack and leave enemies uh, literally with zero chance to dodge and zero armor, so you're gonna hurt them a lot. Yes, you can do it. Pascal is a boss killer, but not a solo boss killer. Pascal is there to reduce all stats on the boss so other teammates can finish the job. The first talent that we're gonna learn would be passive learning where we analyze enemies just by having them in our sights. Extremely good. The more stacks they got the bigger the debuff for exposed weakness. On the next level we're gonna learn perception. Why perception? Because we are preparing Pascal to become a bounty hunter. For the talent we're gonna learn combat master. On the next level for the talent we're gonna learn joint of pets. The entire team benefits out of joint offense. Everyone that you analyzed and you're gonna multi-analyze with passive learning so every enemy that you can basically see with Pascal will get analyzed and your entire team will hurt more against those enemies. For the next thing, we're gonna learn intelligence. Again, we're learning intelligence and perception for a reason, because we're gonna play a trapper, bounty hunter Pascal. For the next level, we're gonna learn joint analysis, an active ability that will allow all of your allies to remove exploits from enemies and hurt them even further. Skill checks, of course, you will always take tech use whenever you can. For the next level we're gonna learn combat insight talent. We're slowly preparing Pascal for the late game during the early game so we're gonna receive an additional action point later on. And for the next talent we're gonna learn power weapon expert. On the next level there's an ulti upgrade and we're gonna upgrade dismantling attack with upgrade number two. Not only that we are reducing dodge and armor with dismantling attack now we are reducing enemies damage as well no matter if they're melee or ranged for the skill choice we're gonna pick medike on this level on the next level we're gonna go into logic and of course we will take perception for a characteristic for the next level the next talent we're gonna learn would be weak body weak soul to put it up short when you expose weakness you also gonna remove some health points out of enemies very good merges with all Pascal abilities. For skills we're gonna learn logic again. For the final active ability we're gonna learn tactical knowledge. When it gets rough tactical knowledge can buff your allies around you 
well, they're gonna receive extra armor. It depends on the amount of stacks of analyze on enemies. For the talent, we're gonna give Pascal some additional movement points with swift movements. On the next level, we're gonna learn the improved tactics. What it does, it upgrades tactical knowledge into improved tactics. Or better to say, you're gonna have a better version of a tactical knowledge. For characteristics, we're gonna learn intelligence. On the next level, we're learning ballistic skills so we can shoot more often and be more precise. And the final talent upgrade in this arch type of operative will be plasma weapon expert because you're gonna use a lot of plasma weapons as well. The last level belongs to the ulti an ulti upgrade of dismantling attack where we're gonna take upgrade number three. What it does, basically, it additionally debuffs all enemies around the dismantling attack target, okay, where they're gonna receive penalties to dodge and armor by 15%. What is the gear that we want on Pascal? For weapons, it's quite simple. We want tech magus axes as much as we can, and we want a plasma gun or plasma pistols for the start, okay, where they offer multiple shots per weapon. As far as other gear goes, boots, helmets, armor, and so on, you want huge armor, but it has to be medium for the start. And all of the other trinkets, you should aim for medica, tech use, and logic. Now, as far as characteristics go, Pascal is all around character, okay, but he does profit the most out of intelligence and perception. So those would be the stats you should pay attention to, especially if you can find it on gear. Pascal is a very slow companion, so boots that give extra movement points are pretty much the best ones for the start. Now, how do we play Pascal? Pascal is by far the most complicated companion to learn and master. Your bread and butter opening move on every turn, in every combat, it's gonna be to analyze enemies. Pick a target that you want to eliminate in the first round, analyze him and then expose his weakness. So you and all of your team will be able to deal a lot of damage and kill that target in round one. This is your main focus and your main job as an operative, to debuff enemies. If you think that enemies are way too strong, you can always use his origin ability, which is called Machine Spirit Communion. For it short and what it does, it buffs your party and it debuffs enemies in a huge area of effect. Your allies will dodge more often, while enemies will dodge less. Whenever you can, you want to whack joint analysis so everyone hurts enemies more around you. Once you encounter a big enemy, okay, mini boss, boss or some huge elite, you want to use dismantling attack and completely reduce their armor. Now, what is the combo usually for those bosses? You keep Pascal safe under some full cover, you analyze the boss, you expose his weakness, and you whack him with dismantling attack. Whether it's gonna be ranged or melee, doesn't matter. You don't look at the damage, you look at the debuffs. And then your team can burst out the boss. This is Pascal's job, to debuff all enemies on the map, especially tough enemies. There is until he becomes a bounty hunter, and then his job will be to have huge crowd control by mobilizing enemies and sharing offensive stats with allies as well. But we're gonna talk about it in some other video. This is Prologue and Act 1 Pascal Guide after all for the early game. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Emperor protects.